So the other day, y'all remember, I played a little hooky from the job site. We went and seen a covered bridge. Well, come to find out, there's another one not far from me, and a uh, pretty neat little old bridge. So I decided to come check it out today. So I was actually going to go up to Auburn and uh, pick up a few things today. I was supposed to be moving equipment, but I'm going to wait till maybe tomorrow to do that. I don't want to deal with traffic. So I figured I'd come up here, pick up some stuff, and take a look at this little old covered bridge we got up here. Now this covered bridge is called the Salem Shotwell Bridge, and uh, it's not a real big one, but it's a pretty neat little old bridge. This is not the original location, but uh, let's go check it out, how they got it done over here. It's pretty, pretty neat. Well, here we go. Salem Shotwell Covered Bridge. And evidently, she was built back in 1900, or right around there, they say. And it was built in another location in Lee County, Alabama, and uh, from what they uh, got wrote down, this thing stood till the early 2000s. I think it was 2005, they talk about it. They had a storm come along and dropped it in the old creek. That tends to happen with old stuff. So evidently some folks uh, went out there and recovered her and put her up for a spell. And I think around 2007, they brought it to this location, which is a, just a lovely little old park over here and they stood it up over this little small stream. Really got it nice right here. Concrete entryway. Those that don't know, this is made to look like an old hitching post. Back in the day, you hook your horse to that, go in the house or wherever, That's what them rings are for. You hook your wagon up, kind of nice. Keep people from driving across it here. But, so right there, you see they got a some stamping in the concrete, some insets, 1900, when it, when it was supposedly built. It says they're not 100% sure, but in 2007, when it was put on this location. Now we can look at this and we can see this is that same style that the one that we looked at outside of Thomason, Georgia was. And a lot of the bridges, from my understanding, down south here were were built like this. It's called a town's lattice. And uh, it's like a lattice work the way them, them trusses are. Now all of this would be old heart pine. You know, down south you got the old uh, long needle pine trees. A lot of old buildings had heart pine flooring in it. You probably heard about that. And the pegs or dowels are white oak. Oak is used for a lot of pegs. A little bit harder wood. Works real good. Same basic construction as the one we looked at the other week, just a whole lot smaller. Not near as tall, so the roof system is a little bit different. But as you can see, it's still doubled up up there. Got pegs in it. Pretty neat. They have really got this thing looking good pretty sharp as we walk through it they made another little landing area out here that's really nice and then the background right there they got a little signage made to look like a bridge nice little wildflower garden here right behind all that looks like a nice little trail system it's a uh, it's a wildflower garden and native plants deal that was built for a local lady here in this area. This is real nice. You got some Laura Pedlums right here. One thing about old Laura Pedlum, you see it a lot in, you know, home landscapes. I used to use it a lot on landscaping houses. And Laura Pedlum can be done where you can keep that thing trimmed and manicured small, or you can let them go and they will tree form. I've had some Laura Pedlums in the past that were probably pushing 20 foot tall. It's a unique looking plant when you tree form it. It's real nice around here. Old grist mill stone. Let's see what it says. Now, this is the top stone on a grist mill. So, you know, those don't know, grist mill is what they used to grind your corn and whatnot on. Grind all your weed on, your flowers. Two stones go together, spin in a circle comes in, pops out of those uh, little narrow spots, gets between them, 
pretty much just rubs it to death and turns it into a powder. That's really nice over here. That's sharp looking little old bridge, ain't it? Now that's gonna have cedar shakes on it. Looks like they do have cedar shakes like it was originally. That's a good deal. Neat little old pretty stream right here. A lot of rock. Now I did drive in, went and turned around down yonder there to come back over here. And it looks to me like I think there's a mini train down there, a small little train track that runs and just a little bit I saw from the road. That looks like a nice little old park. So might be worth checking out if you're around Opelika, Alabama. Technically we're in Opelika. We're gonna run over to Auburn, but we're in Opelika. They kind of run hand in hand. Nice big wooded area back there. You know, it'd be real nice to have a little old covered bridge like this at the house, put down there on a little creek. Me and a buddy of mine had talked about building a bridge for years on his property next door over Little Creek. We just never got around to it. And he moved off to a little different location down the road. So imagine what it would take to do this by hand. I can't get under this one. Well, I technically I could, but I don't feel like walking all the way down there today. But gonna be the same basic design now like everything we've looked at it's old batten strip style generally a one by 12 and you put a three or four inch strip on it right there same way that i've got my barn at the house i like old batten strip it's real simple old timey it's not the best for weatherproofing stuff but hey it works it gets a little view over here. Well, there you go. Another little covered bridge. Hope y'all like that. I got another one that I went and checked out the other day. And I'm going to go back up there. I didn't have time to shoot no video, but I'm going to go back up to it. It's a couple hours away. And it's one I think everybody will really enjoy. And there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of history in it. So Salem Shotwell Covered Bridge. It's in Opelika, Alabama. I don't remember what the name of this park is, but you can do the old Google and come check it out.